And also we've included, uh, we talked about uh, a sidewalk earlier, to help with the problems throughout the community in calls for curbed and sidewalk and pipelines to, to uh, a, uh, a storm drain system to collect the water from there and get it to the holding basin down below. Well, overall, this is $11 million. So this is very, very expensive. We all recognize that this may not be possible to do, at least in the short term. But that's, that was our contribution to, to Oceano at this time, was to show you that there is a solution. It's just very expensive. Um, one of the things some of the people were talking about was, is the curb and gutter uh, and sidewalk and the, the, the uh, responsibility by the regulations requiring us to build sidewalk. I just wanted to remind the board that um, up until about two or three years ago, we didn't have as much of a regulation on Oceano or sidewalk. And uh, the county, in response to a request from this your board, your previous board, Change those regulations, and so we have a lot more requirements on putting her in there than we, than we used to in Oceana. And there are there are a lot of good things to go with that. There's also a lot of problems um, because of the Oceana topography. It's very difficult to design curves uh, and gutters to work, especially on a preschool basis. It does cause blocking the drainage on one house, causes problems in the neighboring house. This is a kind of problem we, in our function as the people that are designing this. This curb uh, gutter system we're running into and trying to implement that. Um, excuse me, your, your point is, is taken that, that, that this board, the previous board, did make recommendations of that nature. We, we may consider that uh, further. Barbara, you had a question? Yes. Uh, I remember when the study was done. In fact, a couple of our board members, I believe, were, were on the committee on that study. <coughs> and Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the uh, end thing was to take care of this, we would have to have assessment districts form to pay for that. The to, taxpayers would have to vote the that's money. That's exactly correct. Something along those lines, assessment district, some some funding mechanism that would raise the money from the community. Because that, that would have, I believe I'm correct, it would have to be an assessment district yes. uh, or a zone, zone form. Correct because uh, this is not one of the powers that OCSD has, nor would we probably be able to gain it because we don't have the money. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I don't want to argue with your board about what your yeah. powers are. No, I mean but, that but, too. Uh, I, I recognize that you don't have any, any uh, existing uh, drainage systems or drain money coming into drainage, yeah. but I believe that you do have latent power and drainage that you could do the same thing that we could as far as if the, if your if your population would grant you a funding source, you do the same thing we can. And we'd have to ask the same question. Your, your population would have to grant us a funding source if we were to do that. So we we would have we're to, an equal level up there. You know, we, we would have to apply for the power and prove to the powers to be that we have funds to take care of this either through an election of the people. Uh, because we don't have a general fund here. That's exactly, that's exactly <laughs> the same. Our party party. Yeah. 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 My point is that's exactly the same yeah. position as the I just wanted to make it clear okay. for everybody to understand that it probably takes an assessment district to pay for this. For the overall project. Now, there may be some things to help this particular yeah. situation that are a smaller scale. That's that, that weren't really dis dis discussed here that could help this. At a, at a lower cost than $11 million. I, I let, Vern, uh, let, let me let Vern ask a question. He's had one for a minute. I uh, yeah, appreciate uh, coming down here and, and taking time on this. Uh, as I understand it, you guys do the studies, you do the studies, and you're funded to do that. We did the study, yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, but it wasn't a study as far as this this one particular spa or this one main spot. This spot is yeah. part of one of the things we talked about. Okay, but it, it comes up with an expense problem in conjunction with everything else. And what I'm wondering is if your department could come up, could bring to the table uh, a study that it would be acceptable to Caltrans to where they could come with the money to uh, get this drain through here and to get this drain uh, where it drains and, and uh, uh, a way that it stays open. Uh, in uh, 
in the sense that uh, if they're bringing the money, they, but they, want, they can't do it without um, the, you know, is this going to fix the problem type situation. If you can come up with a study, maybe we have, now we have something that, uh, that we're actually getting somewhere and can get something done. Um, I won't say yes, we'll do that, but I think it's something, possibility we could look into. Uh, one of the things that's taking the SA is we would take that fund. We can't take it from our road fund because this isn't our road. Um, I don't want to fight too deep, but I think it is possible that CalFix could do that because it is their road. But, um, not road. That's not our road. No, true road is the problem. It's not our road. I know it is. I've had this discussion with you and your predecessors for many years. No, we recognize anyway, also that uh, Pat Paso Robles Street floods and 13th Street floods at the same time. My, that, that Highway 1 the floods road. and, and the, the roadbed there could be being What I was going to say was we could possibly take it out of the same general fund that the study came under. My hesitancy is that this particular year, this particular year, we can't take it out of the same general fund just on this one small issue that we're looking on, because this one little area is our one main area. Yeah. Um, so um, we're talking about, you know, just a small study as far as what it's going to take to keep to make sure that that water continues to flow through there. I think that, uh, you know, I, you know, I, don't, I don't keep getting to the, the specifics of the problem. Um, I think it's to a small, small amount of, of of a uh, very small degree county, there's some kind of involvement. There's more involvement in Caltrans um, because their facility is the one that is mainly affected. I think there is railroad, obviously, railroad involvement. Railroad is more difficult to work with than Caltrans, no federal government or county. Uh, <laughs> but they, they are, uh, you know, they, they do have you know, a major player in the, in the middle of this thing. Uh, and the vegetable exchange, I have to say, um, I believe has, is, is really uh, causing a lot of problems uh, because of uh, what they did downstream from the culvert over the last 20, 25 years. I think if you look back in, in, in history, right. uh, this area didn't flood very much until uh, the, uh, the vault and the extra pipe and the, you know, the sediment basin and all that <laughs> put on the other side that, that messed up the hydraulics of the Situation. So that uh, any <coughs> solution that really worked would have to have a, a large contribution by the vegetable exchange, and I don't know if anybody's even um, uh, brought that to you know, start talking about that. But uh, I, you know, I, I will look into that possibility of, of putting some staff time into uh, some, some, some engineering. I know the fact that uh, in the past, how things look at it, I think we can look into a solid solution. Um, and nobody's ever come to a solution, a great solution. Uh, maybe we could ask Cal Francis to do a lot of the conversation that we just had on how that would work with what they're talking about and would take to bring some money to this. Thank you. Thank you. I heard Calvin's name mention. I don't know whether getting 